Hi everyone. Today I'd like to take a few minutes and reflect on uh, what we've done in the past, what we're currently doing, and the future of ACC automation. And I want to thank you very much for the, the success that we've had over the last year. It's been the best year yet. And, you know, we're doing this um, through accelerated learning, accelerated machines, accelerated knowledge. So you're making the website very popular and I thank you again. So looking at the uh, last little while, what we've done is the first one I'd like to talk about is the creating a PLC with HMI training and learning environment free. Now this is utilizing the advanced HMI uh, software that runs on Visual Studio. And what it will do is uh, we communicate um, Modbus and um, there's several different drivers that we can utilize but we can create this whole learning environment absolutely free along with the do more designer software and we can emulate um, talking Modbus uh, TCP into the PLC and ever again everything's free of charge the next one I'd like to talk about is actually our uh, building a PLC program that you can be proud of part six now this series itself um, uh, takes you through discrete inputs and outputs and to control traffic lights and cylinders and as we progress we introduce additional methods to solve logic we look at sequencers in a new way and learn how to write programs that allow the users to teach the new sequence and the this is um, part of uh, this is the sixth part of, a, of this series and it's been a very popular series for us the next one I'd like to talk about is actually creating a login screen on advanced HMI again we introduce the same cylinder program that we did on the uh, previous but now we've added uh, an HMI logon screen going to a database so we're reading and writing to that database um, from advanced HMI solo solo is a line of process and temperature controllers from automation direct and they are um, extremely efficient and there's not an uh, there's not an application out there that I don't think it can solve so solo temperature controllers they've already come in they're fully PID uh, auto tuning they also have all built-in communication uh, that's Modbus RTU and that's fully on board and as you can see by the picture it comes in several different DIN sizes the next thing we do is we have actually created a whole series last year called the the click and the click is via automation direct um, and as you can see the series actually takes you through the hardware software and numbering systems, communications, timers, counters, um, math instructions, the program control, shift registers, drum instructions, and then we use the send and receive, and that's uh, uh, instructions. And we also use uh, uh, Modbus TCP using advanced HMI, which is the last one in the series. This series, again, very popular for us, and I hope you enjoy it. The and we also have a video uh, uh, companion series that shows you the 12 videos that came with this series as well. And you can get that on YouTube. Okay. Next, we also had a, we started a Horner uh, XL4 uh, series. And we're still in development of that. And what you can see here now is we have a few um, articles already. Your system hardware, installing the software, um, the... Uh, Seascape software, establishing communication, numbering systems, user interface. What this is, is a, a built-in PLC with HMI already on board, NEMA 4 rated on the front screen, and it will do several different protocols that you just download and implement, including an HTTP web server, as we're seeing on, on the screen here. Also, it will do the Modbus slave, uh, Ethernet IP, ask you over at TCP IP so there's numerous open uh, can open protocol so again numerous things that we can do with that Warner PLC 
And a couple of things that are worth mentioning, or once again, I should say, is the Horner. We do have every video that we've done, so far there's 17, is located at the um, Horner uh, website there, or the Horner, Horner uh, uh, log on our YouTube channel. So there's 17 there that you can actually watch. There are other three um, other blogs or posts that I'd like to mention. The first one is understanding the PLC program scan. And that's a very interesting one because we actually dive right into the software and look at what happens when we have simple circuitry like we have here up top and what actually happens when we turn things on and off. Then we actually understand that we can actually turn on and off actual inputs. So it really um, goes, uh, makes you think about actually how this program is being scanned and implemented in your logic. And if you understand that, then programming becomes much easier. The next one I'd like to mention is the seven essential parts of a PLC system. Again, we're looking at breaking up the components of the PLC and looking at the CPU, inputs and outputs, analog I.O., special I.O., programming tools, HMI, and networking, which are all essential when looking at development of a system. And the last thing we'd like to mention too is the existing program or PLCs that you have in your plant. Um, and I'm looking, I'm looking at the Armoron C20K um, as a troubleshooting guide, but look at, look at the condition of the actual unit itself. And if you have items like this, they need to be replaced. You have to make sure you have backups and a way in which to go from that old system to the new system again. So that's that's been a review. And in the future and coming up in 2017, we're going to go into the Armoron CP1 uh, series and look at um, some of this. Now it's an older series, it's not brand new, but it's still effective and still uh, one of the things that Armoron's been selling. And that's obviously programmed by the CX programmer. And then we're also going to take a look at the logo. Now the logo is Siemens uh, PLC. It's a micro PLC. It has a lot of special features like a web browser or, we or web server on there. It has uh, Modbus TCP on there. So we're going to be taking a look at that as well. All right, that's it for now. Now all the, um, all the links and all the information can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. And if you like the video and like to see more, there's like always, there's three ways in which you can help us out. First of all, you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video, or you can go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. And when we go to the website and describe it, what will happen is that you will be given um, uh, links to two ebooks. The first one will be on data logging and the other will be on numbering systems. And the third thing you can do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. All right, that's it for now. I want to thank you for watching and supporting us in your automation needs.